Hello folks and welcome back to Ravenport 22. As you can see, we're in March, the snow is gone and we have made our first purchase of our new what's gonna be our dream farm got two million pounds to spend because in that episode we found out that in fact you can just buy everything on Ravenport which is 6.7 million to buy and yeah I still have some change left over obviously I explained we're not purchasing these two because that's got all of our sell points or custom sell points and custom buy points and same down here and I can't be fucked to deal with those so yeah I'm not gonna bother with those so yeah let's go shopping so we have a look what we've got at the moment so to be honest we've got some decent tractors and that but I think we can go better. We're still going to keep the XJ in that. To be honest, that flatbed trader. And that can go. I'll uh, say so we'll keep one of the disc arrows. And yeah, I was going to sell them as is. The cedar. Uh, that's going to go. That's going to keep class very efficient. And our baiters, so you know what? Screw it. If we need more money, we we'll always do two loads of how uh, was it? Propane gas, because it did do February. So we could do February and March. So now we need to go shopping. So obviously, I'm gonna try to go big here. So mowers or mower. Next, we need a tiander. So one here, the Murdo, trigger hitch on the back, I want BKTs, that's the best grippy tires, three point link hitch so we can attach weights, and I'll go with a bit of a, I don't know, I think I've done communal orange before, so let's go with the Lemkin Blue, black rims, that looks absolutely sick, so now we need stuff for this, so Obviously, I'm gonna grab. Let's see what I've got here. So, I think I'll do is I'll grab. Do I grab one of those? Actually, no, I don't think because we'll get the bell loaders ourselves. So, we want you. And I want to wait for the tay hander. So, I'm thinking around one half tons, two tons. Actually, do these. There we go. Go with that. So, 1.68. Uh, nope. Nope, that's too big. I'm not sure they're going to fit. So, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go base game. So, two tons we want. 2.3 or. Yeah, you know what? We'll go with that. So, actually, what? 2.2. That will do. And yeah, I'm just going to move these out of the way. There we go. So, yeah, that's moved over here. So, we're down to 1.5 mil, but the fact that I've got that second hand, that's going to save us a bit of money. So, also, plows and that. Do we have a plow? No, we do not. So, yeah, because I want to merge some fields together. So, I'm going to go with the SP10. Keep you as that. Go with a bit of a different green. Like so. Next. Do you want to bother mulching? That takes forever to do. So, I may give that a pass. Oh, do we have a massive roller? I think so. Because, yeah, 12 meters is good. But that is better than Mega Roll. And there is a mod I forgot to enable. So, we'll come back to that. Beater. So, now I want to go the Viking Fast Bell. BKTs, Fast Bell. Four colors. Go with a Kubota Orange. Chrome green. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the quick bell. 
But I am going to keep it at the standard size, so... Ooh, what brand do we go for? I'm thinking... Not Crone. Size additive, yes. Uh, let's go with Yellow Bells. Main colour... Yeah, I think let's go with Crone. Don't know why in particular, but... Uh, to be honest, we could have gone with the P2 shaft option, but oh well. Rims. And what? Chrome. See, that's our beaters. No, that's one beater, that's a ram beater. However, I still want to do square bells. Ah, uh, yeah, these are all expensive, so. Ain't gonna matter too much, so. I was going to go with this, so... So you should add yes. Because, yeah, this is going to be, in a way, my dream farm. So, at the moment, I'm just getting all the equipment in. I think, you know what, let's go with the biggest. 350 horsepower required. Not too bad. And then tractor. So, I'll go with one more large tractor. Ah, uh, yeah, obviously got mods and that. Ooh, the widespread system. E 400 grand though, that is quite expensive, so... Make it that a pass. Because, yeah, that's the one we've got at the moment, 435 horsepower. Is there anything in, like, the 500 range? That, that's at 470. Saddle track 394, so... What about base game? Oh, yeah, you're looking at into the 400 grams now, so. Yeah, no, screw it, so. Just in case we need a pulling tractor of whatever reason, so. Go with that, see, oversize, sure. And next, so we got the beaters and that, so we need a bell loader, so I'm going to go with the base game stuff, so that involves you. Actually, you know, if we're doing, no, we're looking at the bells on fine normally, so we can go with something like this, but we will not be auto-loading. So yeah, so we'll go black like so. So yeah, we can just load the bells on and then sell them, so... Yeah, don't need that. Bell wrappers, yes. I'll go with you, foil colour. In case we want to wrap square bells for whatever reason. Okay, we're down to 1.1 mil. Do I need anything else? And yeah, actually... So, go to harvesters, I want a second combine. And I'm going to go with... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go with the same one as I did before. But I am going to go slightly different, so... Long pipes and all that. <coughs> Revolution Edition, sure. So yeah, that is the same. However, what's going to be different is the header. Hopefully. No, not the tall height control stuff. It's these ones here. Have a 19 meter header. Air bars, not, no. Canoe knives, nope. Brown, so we're at a New Holland, so New Holland yellow. Actually, what does that change? I think that's more of the uh, airfoil, whatever it is. So I'll keep you alright. Got the header in that, and yeah, I don't think that's going to fit on. That's designed for the normal traders and that, so. Yeah. Does he touch it? Does it snap on? No. That looks better, sort of, but, uh, yes, yeah, sort of, but not really. 
problem is, does it stay on? Actually, I think what I should do actually is look for modded tra header trainer and that. Because, yeah, that's going to be. Yeah, that's already falling off, so. Bear with me a sec. So, right, we've upgraded our header nat trader. So, now we're using the Demco header trader. So, that's a 60 foot header trader. And, yep, yeah, seems to fit all we need. And I spent the rest of our money on pretty much all the equipment that we need. So, we're going to need to do some something here. So, but yeah, before that, we'll go over what we spent the rest of our money on. So, I bought a self-propelled sprayer, so this is the base game version. Next, I bought the Dugaman Pro Till 40. And then for a roller, I went with the Mega Roll Nat. So it's basically like the Diablo we looked at, but it's a little bit better. So if we go to our tools and rollers. So yeah, the Dabo Mega Roll 2430. 24.3 meters at 7 miles an hour. This one could do it at 15 miles an hour. And yeah, the cultivator. Again, all the mods will be down below. So it's under disc arrows, not cultivators. So yeah, it's these ones, the Kinsey Mac Tills. Yeah, so to go with our typical land what we go with before. 10 meters at 11 miles an hour versus 12 meters at 12 miles an hour for that's going to make a difference, and I just realised I cocked up on the horsepower, because that says it needs 620 horsepower, and what's our most powerful tractor? Ooh, 470, so we're going to need to upgrade one of these tractors to something at least 620, so... Ooh... Does any of the modded ones? So the Siger can. Siger quad tracks. Is that or yeah? <laughs> oh, cocked up there. But yeah, I know we purchased all the land. However, I don't think we're gonna be reusing the land, so I'm gonna get rid of some of the land. So I'm get rid of you, you, and you. Yeah, I'll keep in that. Maybe 54 in that. I shall keep 54. It spawns like a lot of these areas and that on the edges. We can do again rid off, so. For example, I'll keep you for now. Because, yeah, I want to do some forestry. Obviously, we've cleared these trees, so. We can just clear that. So there we go, back up to 755 grand. However, I am going to do a couple of things. Also, yeah, I bought the Kinsey Planter as well, the 80 meter one. Because, yeah, the wood chips got down to 1300 per thousand liters. So, I want to do a quick test to see if we can sell logs now, rather than, you know, transport logs. I'm going to use one of the mobile cell point so as I head over here there's a bunch of trees near what's going to be our main farm so yeah, first of all we will look at this yeah we tried to create a little site but didn't work out thankfully I was able to just about fix the road yeah, just don't look at it close enough yeah and that's what happens when you do landscaping and not save the game I should have learned that before what happened with sheep barns and that so but yeah, this is going to be our new farm in that, so we'll get all the concrete put down in that. Obviously, you can't see it rendered at the back, but on the back of that hill, we've got those orange flowers. But yeah, so I was thinking about wood chip in these trees. I'm sorry, I had a little hiccup, so. But instead, what I'm going to do is cut these down with a chainsaw. Some I can deal with afterwards. So yeah, oak trees, so I'm going to get a couple of these trees cut down, and then I'll get the cell point over. So there we go, we've cut a couple of trees down, and I'm going to cut this one here down, 
Oh yeah, as mentioned, some so will be dealt with at a later date, if at all. So yeah, productions and sell points. The mobile utility, utility sell point for wood, so... We'll see how much we can get for timber and that, so... Actually, to be fair... Pretty much fucking worthless that was, to do all that. We got a lot more of that from wood chips, so... Fair enough, good bit of information to new, so you are going bye bye. And what I'll do is, yeah, we've got the trader here ready. And yeah, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna cut a bunch of these trees down, go along here and that, and there should be enough trees and that to get us by. And there's some good big chunky trees as well, especially on the hills and that, so. I'll just spend a little bit of time on that, because I want to get to about one and a half mil, so... Because, yeah, I want to get size down, I want to get everything down, so... Yeah, just looking at the prices of everything. And, yeah, I think... Definitely we're going to need that, and just looking at bunker side clamps, because I want to get some of those down as well. So yeah, let me do what we usually do, so forestry equipment, grab the devourer, yes we want the capacity, unreal that, and I'll hop into the other case that is here, and yeah, thank you so far, I haven't had a game crash despite all the mods, all suddenly, but most of these mods I've had on for ages and that, like planning on using them. At some point, but that's the thing, yeah. I said about the whole progression that. So, yeah, now we've, yeah, technically we've achieved part of the challenge of, you know, owning everything. But yeah, we'll still spend some time now, a year, a couple of years, and a year or two at least, on this map, and yeah, just have some fun in that. Like, you know, just do a bit of farming in that. No crazy. Stuff now. We're still gonna do productions and that, like things like I want to do everything that Serbuki has offered the map, so actually sort of countries on here, so like so. See that's a lot better. That is worth about four grand. So yeah, wood chips are still the way to go. Maybe if I cut these trees down a bit better than that, so I don't know, but... Anywho, I'm going to spend some time doing this, and what I'll do is... I'll do a little short time lapse of us getting this done, and then the rest of it will be done most likely off camera. Yeah, once we're back up to a mil, mil and a half... I'll say one and a half mil, that gives us that buffer and that. Just in case anything goes wrong, so yeah. Let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
there we go. So, as you see, we've done like two of those with the Orgo Wagon. I did some more of those off camera, and it was about 500,000 euros we offloaded in the end. So now let's unload the last 108,000 euros. This is what actually we had started off with, but because I was caught up with the case and that, so this should bring us to just close to 2 million. And that means we'll have about it's going to be about 400 to 500 grand for a new tractor and that, the one we actually want. And yeah, looking at our tractors and that, to be honest, we can get rid of some of these, so... To be honest, I'm tempted to get rid of the K Steiger and that. And yeah, swap that out instead, so... 145 grand, literally just shy off what we needed, so, yeah, let's go and return this, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's just good now, but, again, 15 miles an hour, yeah, 15, 16 miles an hour, is rather slow, even for the rolling now, it rolled in, that's 15 miles an hour, so we'll be literally at top speed with this, that's even if we could do that, well, you can't, that requires like 620 horsepower, so, Repair and return. So yeah, now we get the correct tractor we want. And yep, yeah, have some options in that. Like, it's tempted to go with, you know, some of the versatiles. Now, 591. It says 665, so. Ah, there we go. 665, really, yeah. Just almost half a mil. What's something with track? So, I am going to go with John Deere 9RT. This is by Agritono, so all the weights and that. No tints, mirrors, attachers, yes. So yeah, overall, 464 grand. That leaves us with 1.6 mil for everything we need. So, actually, the tractor's for the roll, no, cultivator, not roller, so my correction on that, so let's head to the farm and actually now start, let's actually get cracking on with the F-Scudia with actually building our dream farm. Yeah, I'm sure we can do it for 1.6 mil because also with the trees and that, also I did collect all the trees from over here because I completely forgot about this section over here. Like all the trees is here and I suppose we could set the farm up over here and that start off with and then move up. However, since we already spent like what, one mil, two mil on this, you know, again it's all flattened out, all smoothed out, so Yeah, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I've got some ideas, we're gonna get some sheds in, we'll get all the silos in, so literally we have everything, so we don't need to leave stuff in that. As you see now, the only thing we may need to these is the Forge Harvester. How much is a Forge Harvester? Tempted to go with the Colossus and that, but I want to go with something different, so... 364 grand for that, like really... Cool tracks and that... I'm really saying, let's go with this, so... An extra tank in that, and we could change the color as well. So, yeah, we're looking at only an extra 900 bucks for that. So, so normal, what would that go with? Does that have a header it comes with? Nope, but we can use that. And yeah, I knew there's like a 12 meter modded header. So, again, worst case scenario, if we need money, we can just you know. To do some logging and that, or some wood chipping. But yeah, terms with planting crops now, we've got everything we need now. We're in March, so anything we're going to be doing is in March too. I want to spend this episode with just getting everything set up to farm, so we could do root crops. I'm tempted to do root crops. Things like sugar beet, that. sugar beet, get sugar in that, get some money from that. Also, wheat and oats, we get a nice bit of straw from that. 
I would just do core in that to get the mace side edge. That's going to be one of the mega fields combining together. Along with that, cotton I want to do. And that's the thing, we've got all the so Foot eight's already growing. 6, 12, and 13. Can be merged into one. Seven will be a separate. Yeah, I could merge that with field eight, but I don't know. Then four or five would be a mega field. Then one, two, and three, that'd be another mega field. And even like small ones, like 14, 15, 16, and 17. I'll say just merge fields that get them all put together. So I think for now, we're all comfortable set up. So let's go into build mode. So I think, to be honest, the first one I want to do is lay down the concrete. So do I want brick or gravel? So I know Sabuki's added a lot of textures in that. And the mud no, don't want sand. To be honest, simple concrete would do me just fine. No. And I say it would do me just fine, but I want to get something a bit different than that, so Ooh, what do we go with? Actually, what's that one there? Is that the gravel? Yeah, that's a gravel, so you know what? We'll go with gravel. And yeah, so we need to figure out a way in. So for now, I'll say this bit here is our entrance. We're not at fences and gates, I am tempted on doing that. Oops. Camera angles going all whiffy there. Then it's just a case of painfully going around. Yeah, just mind the flowers and that. Oh yeah, and I will spend time on this as well afterwards, say off camera. Do all the, the fine little details and that. To actually, for once, make a farm beautiful, because yeah. That's one thing I do love in that, it's the farm bills, you know, build your own farm and that. You know, say, so give me f five million that for a couple mil, just for the farming aspect of it, like, get the farm all set up. And yeah, I'd be absolutely wondrous with it. Yeah, because I just do love to spend the time, like, literally spend hours, I will set up a farm now, like, you know, planning, like, just looking at mods now, that like, you know, what mods do we add here and there and that, so, I think for now, so let's do the perimeter of the farm, and then, yeah, one thing I want to do is add a pathway down here, so, landscaping wise, I think it's smooth, because I did do a little bit of smoothing, I ain't gonna bloody try to sloop it or anything. Because personally, I think that would make things a lot worse. So, you know what? I'm happy with that. It's not too bad of a little sloop, so. Yeah, let's go back to concrete. Well, not, not the concrete, the gravel. And then, yeah, because I want to say down here could be our animal pen, so. No, just something like that. Again, I can shrink this and that with grass and that, so... Again, overall, I'm not fussed. Alright, there is... One little thing that we need to take care of, but... You know what? That is fine, so... I just want to go very close to the embankment. And I will put fresh grass, grass down on the sides. And then, yeah, thinking, just go. Ooh, maybe not that high now, but again, I'm not fussing out. It's all about just laying down the foundations. So, right, there we go. Down to. Now, what was it? One and a half mil. And I'll say, just apart from this little bit here, I forgot. We are done with the painting, so. Let's get the last up bit of. Oh, no, sorry, not gravel. It is. Dirt, so let me find no, not sand dirt. There we go. So, yeah, this will be our placeable area or animal pen area. Well, I say that as at least going to be the bulk of it. So, for example, like our cows and that. So, see, so, yeah, I'll do cows, sheep, and chickens. And even whack some bees down as well. Like, oh, I should wait a minute. 
That's the large beehouse, 132 compared to 33. So, you know what? I actually may do that as well. Again, something different. It's part of the Red Barn pack, so... First of all, cows. I installed some Nancy Boy mods. Just want to have a little look at how it's all gonna look, so... So that is 100, 200, 125. But again, I want to try to use a lot of the Ravenport mods by Celebuki, so... I think somewhere like that. Lovely, just look at the landscaping. Not too bad. There's a bit of room around the back. Yeah, because I may still flatten this bit out a little bit more. So yeah, next we want the sheep again. Ravenport. Yeah, Ravenport ones we want, so... Feed and that's going to go there. Also come out of there, so... Perhaps actually... If I can get them close together... Somewhere like so. Unfortunately, I can't get the best of camera angles. I'm gonna try to get this as close as I can. So yeah, a little bit of space apart and that not perfectly aligned, but again I can work with this. Again, I can flatten this out and that make it a bit more smoother. So yeah, that's our cows. That's our sheep. Now I want our chicken, so I'll get, say, a couple of these whacked down, so I want to make sure feeding area that is here. Eggs are going to come out on this side, so I'll see one, space out a little bit, and then two, so overall not too bad. And actually, look, <laughs> does look quite, oh, what's the word, empty in that, so let's whack down a couple of bees, so. Obviously, these are good for increasing yield on fields. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do first of all is instead is... Select level terrain. I want to pick a mark, so I'll go right in the middle. And I just want to flatten all of this out, so... Yeah, it's going to be, again, expensive, but... Money for the slows and that ain't going to be that bad, so... It's still going to be left with couple hundred grand or so, at least. But as I've said many times before, worst case scenario, just at least a devourer. And yeah, jobs are good in. So, how is that level to that? So, see, so yeah, I may want to raise this up a little bit. There we go, like so. It's not the best of jobs, I'll admit. Oh, what's that? I guarantee that's like a stump there or something. Fuck, I thought I got rid of all the stumps. You know what? Let's do that instead. Let's raise the land to it. So, yeah, at least then we can work around the stump. That's the thing again, everything doesn't have to be all perfectly smooth and leveled. As long as it's fine enough, so. That's fine. Now, what I want to do is get this all the way back. Turn up that. Ah, yeah, just want to get this embankment back. And then, yep, we'll put grass down on all that. And then, it will look just fine. Just like this, so, yep, we're down to a mill. So, yeah, that is 125 grand in bee juice coming. So yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just slightly extend bits out and that, get things a bit smoothed and that. And yeah, once I start driving around, like, no, it's like a couple of bumps here and there, but... Unfortunately, I don't think I can do too much about that. Yeah, just try to whack it on max, but... Yeah, I don't think it's going to do much at all, but... It's one of those things, once I start driving around that, get used to the farm itself. I'll find all the little things and that's going to drive me mad over time and I will fix it so I'll say that is our animal pen done. we just need the animal so we'll deal with that later on 
And that's just went to grab a drink there. So now, focus on the main farm itself. So our sheds and that. So yeah, how many pieces of equipment do we have? I just want to just remind myself. So, own equipment. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, about a 15 to a 20 row shed we need, so... And again, I've got carried away a bit, I will admit. Got a bunch of sheds now. Some of these are, I'm sure, by Lancy Boy now, because he does awesome mods and that. And yeah, the Red Barn Pack. It's nice, it's cute and that, but yeah, it's not for me. Have like a massive workshop like that. Uh, again, do we go that? So yeah, has it got doors at the back? I cannot bloody tell, so... Got no doors at the back, so... Actually, I think something like that... Would do just fine. Because yeah, I laid this all out perfectly flat. And actually... Thank fuck for that. So I forgot to check the cutter, so I think yeah, let's go with the red, so okay, doors at the front. Like so. And again, the whole terraform stuff. Oof. That's a bit close. Oh yeah, got no doors at the back. But yeah, I'll tie this all up later on, I'll bring the flowers down. So yeah, let's have a look at this workshop here. Because yeah, 862 grand, plenty of money left, so... See, so yeah, I'm thinking this could be our main base of operations. Does look pretty low leveled. Thankfully, we do have a workshop here. And yep, yeah, got an office and all that. Lovely jubbly. And actually, what I'll do is... Find out where the light switches are. Yeah, because I don't think I've done a mod review on here, so. But say now, if you knew me and my mod reviews, the one I always struggle to find is the light switch. Oop. Also, I was looking at the L3 and that button, that, but. Find that is on. So yeah, we saw a lot of stuff here and that, a lot of our equipment. But yeah, I still want to put a couple more shits down and that, so. Yeah, I do have a variety of stuff. But yeah, Iron Day has all got a match. Yeah, like the rustic stuff in that. Ain't gonna fly. Michigan farm stuff. Ooh, this may work. 55 grand, 75. So yeah, let me just leave you folks here a sec. Let me have a little think. And then I'll come back once I got my mind on the shed. So alright, I think we're done with that, so I'll back to one of these American Shed Pack ones down. And yeah, just looking at other ones, I think about putting one more down. But to be honest, I think we're going to be fine. Because <clears throat> yeah, I'm still going to have some equipment up north, at the north farm. This is the central farm. Now we need to look at silos and all of that good stuff. So again, we do have the American Barn Pack. Which does look rather snazzy. However, I'm going to use the one by Mrs. Omatona. So, these ones here, these large multi fruit silos. And not just because of the capacities and that, even though that is an added bonus, I will admit. Silo large. See that? So, yeah, it's looking at the barn pack. Again, I don't know if like, some of these are like, multi fruit or not. That is bell and pallet storage, so we'll look at that in a bit. Yeah, first of all, it's without using those, but yeah, it just does not look good with the farm. Something like that actually would look quite nice. Maybe, say, let's do some weird terrain stuff. It is, so get to review. Screw it. So yeah, we've still got this whole space up here to deal with, so 
really we can have our soil complex up here, so... Again, just space things out. You got your Ravenport stuff in that. But again... <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, so... Once again, bear with me a sec. But yeah, I think I'll go with this for a bell and pad storage, at least. So, alright, yeah, what I've done is... Again, use the storage by Mrs. Umatana. Use her large silo. And I use the Michigan Farm Pack for the bell and pad storage. So yeah, 600, that is quite a bit. I know there's other ones like Mr. Hector's done some in that. And yeah, you think Sabuki's done one for here, but for me personally, it's just how it looked in that, so. And yeah, I know realistically you don't need these, but. You no, know, just thinking. Just whack a couple of these down. Like so. So yeah, that actually works out quite well. It makes it look more busy in that. And yeah, now she needs to deal with the textures in that. I ain't gonna take too long. And now it's really, it's just like the fine touches, things like containers and that. Do we need anything else on the farm? So, war points, yes. So I'm gonna have a water point here. I have another one just somewhere up here. So I don't have to chase around constantly, figure out where the heck is everything. And then I'll place one more down just down here by the animals. So, yep. Yeah. I think I've chatted out long enough now. I just need to do this like, again, it's all small details like jet washers and that. Even whack a couple of that. So yeah, spare me a few moments whilst I go and I get this all set up. So right, we are done with farm build. We got 36 grand left. Or say that, actually we did have to take out a small loan if I should get to the settings. So yeah, we need to pay off 15 grand. So what I've done was the usual of getting, was it 280 to 70,000 liters of with chip so because yeah we need money also for the animals as well so I think what I'll do is I'll get two loads of these because yeah it's gonna be very expensive in that so yeah that's gonna just empty that so yeah I'm thinking of the like, cutting these trees up here down I know we can't do all of them that because we hit the a map boundary but so yeah, spare me a few minutes whilst I get another full load of these and another full trade of that. So yeah, 371 grand. So yeah, one more full load of both. And that will sue us just fine. Some time has passed. We have been super busy and overall, first of all, look at the prices. So we spent three and a half mil on new equipment, 200 grand on livestock, 3 million on construction. We spent just 1.1 million on land purchase, but obviously we sold out, so ignore that. We were running cost did a bit of maintenance, and that these things quite high at 50k. And yeah, for those costs, 95 grand, there is more now, it's not just 95 grand, I'll explain that in a sec. But yeah, we sold an additional 5.1 million dollars worth of wood chips. And yeah, 600 grand in miscellaneous, that is things like fertilizers and seeds so first of all we've got this here we've got our forest harvester net and i think this is a 12 meter header is it yeah the lizard fh15 so if we go to our equipment forest harvester headers yeah 50 meters at six miles an hour yeah i could have gone with like the colossus stuff in that and yeah i very much could but yeah, I thought about changing things up a little bit. Additionally, you see there is another animal pen that is a pig pen there. We've got pigs and that, so if we go to our animals, I put some straw and some food in already. These were purchased and that, and that's why like 600 gram went in miscellaneous. But yeah, also we've got like furrows over here now as well. Well, the furrows are here. That's because I've gone and side to invest in greenhouses so i've got like 
five greenhouses, I think, down at this farm here. I may change this to the farm up north. Oh, yeah, by pulling the camera. But at the moment, the game has been stable, so overall, let's put this for a spreader in the dish viewer, which we'll have a look at. So, yeah, entering the farm. Got all of our equipment stored over here, so we got our cultivators, rollers and that, faders, cedars and that. And over here, we've got our tractors and that. And I did decide to purchase a, another self propelled sprayer, so we got the hardy Rubicon, that's got our herbicide. The brawn, that's got our fertilizer, so we've got multiple options for spraying. Even when it comes to solid fertilizer and that, really, think about it, so we'll just use the A2 Studio one. So yeah, go to the left, we got our wheel, so not wheel loader, take hander with the bell loader. We got a fuel station, we got a seed tank, we got a fertilizer tank, and that's including the liquid fertilizer. Solid fertilizer, that's all being topped up. We got our header tray over there. We've got two of those Hardy style. Actually, no, it's not Hardy, is it? I can't remember the name of it on top of my head. If I go into build mode. No, it's a Hydroglide, that's it. The Hydroglide by Superfly1842. So, yes, under tools. Yep, Superglide by Superfly. And additional to that, we've got greenhouses by. Miss Omatana, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those fruit greenhouses with manure. Got our bell and storage shed over there, got our silo, including the extensions. Got our liquid tank over here. We've got a hay drying, or hay drying plant is just over there. Our cow mixture plant is just over here. So yeah, first of all, I need to unload this, so this is part of the open greenhouse by Miss Omatana, it's the distributor, so if I go to over here, you can see everything's set to distribution. Lovely jobby, so we're just putting seed in. So alright, so that is the seeds put in. So I just move that over here. Yeah, the hay drying is just down there. Even though, I think we've got a tether now, I'm not sure on that. To be honest, it's been yeah, there's a lot of work involved, so just have a look at our own equipment, so mowers, baders. Yep, yeah, so yeah, no tethers and that, so that's why cause, yeah, I think to be honest, anything we do wise in terms of that, yeah, there's got other options for that, so first of all we need to put this out and actually I really need to be in the right air, we need to turn around just like so. So there we go. There we go. Furs just going in. See, so yeah, that's over there. Also, we got the auto one, well, it's not auto, it's the site extension, automatic water supplies. So there we go. So that is going to go over here and now, let's head down here and get a bit more frame rate, and then I'll go through greenhouses and that, so... Yeah, overall, it's actually not looking too bad that we've down here. Got our little hay mixture there. Got like, our five beehives. Got our house over here, so seat trigger and wardrobe function. And that's the thing, this is our dream farm. And actually, there's only a couple of things I forgot to put down. Since we're in America, let's put a big old American flag. So, yep. Down there. Down there. And of course, we'll put one or two down here. Even though the frame rate's probably going to like this too much, but who cares? So, lovely jubbly. Because, yeah, we're in America, so there we go. Don't know why you've got a Bosnian flag. I'm guessing that's Mr. Hector in that, but. I'm well, not Miss Hector, I'm Sebuki, sorry. But, yeah, so. 
I don't... Changes in monies and all that. I don't think why anything that's self generating at the moment is only really got items for sale. So, first of all, we'll go into our production. So, yeah, we've got our hay drying over here. So, you can use grass and either wood chips, diesel, or straw for fuel. Yeah, buy some diesel now, get some cheap sources of fuel. TMR makes some plants, so you can do it with or without mineral feeds. Got our everlasting water distributor there with the automatic water supplies. Then we got the distributor by Mrs. Omatana, so the seeds have just been spreaded. Well, the terms were shared between the greenhouses. So, yeah, now the greenhouses are all underway. I've got sugar in all of the new greenhouses. So, yeah, that's including raking grapes and that from the greenhouse because. Yeah, have a look at that. I think I'll also put down another. Yeah, another of those fruit ones down. These are the greenhouses. Yeah, got our custom ferment silo. I did m move that. But yeah, with the greenhouses. With the large ones by Miss Omontana, you can make an absolute stonks amount of money. And that's the thing, we're in March. And I just want to look at, is there anything in particular high in demand, high price? At the moment in March, nothing's really shooting up. No, that's wool. That's milk. So yeah, at the moment, nothing's really worth shooting up. That's why we can make a whole lot of products. So, I'm going to tell you a lot of grapes being produced with manure, solid fertilizer, and on its own with just water. So yeah, we're going to get a lot of grapes for that. And to be honest, I'm thinking, turn some of these other ones on. Actually, I've got an idea. So let's turn the corn on. So corn, corn, like so, because we just have enough money to purchase the corn dryer. And yeah, also, yeah, also forgot... We can still do our methane cells because we haven't done February and March. So there we go. So all I want to do is go to the corn. Yep, now it's set to distribute in. Also got corn set to distribute in because I want to do cotton. But yeah, that we'll look at later on. So let's head to the corn dryer. This should be pain. Corn is going to go in here and dry. And we'll store the dried corn and then we'll sell that because once again I think it's an all year round price, it's pretty much consistent with the dried corn. Actually, yeah. yeah I'll sell it in June. So we'll sort it for a few months and sell in June. And also with the corn itself, we can go down the further routes of making corn flour, corn bread. That's the thing, I want to do all of this, like make all the pumpkin pies and that. Absolute everything I want to make. Also, whilst we're here, I want to look at any other productions I've got. Firewood and that, with the timber. Maybe not worth the best, but things like manure pellets and that. Obviously, yeah, a lot of these are parts of the container, but there are our cell points and that we'll put down. I want to do a little bit of the melon gem production as well. Also by Superfight1842. Cream stuff like well, I don't really mess with too much. And yeah, that's just part of the Omaton stuff. So yeah, overall, we are looking good. And I think that's where we'll leave it today. So next time we'll start kicking off, we'll start getting things drilled. Also, I want to purchase the cotton and wool spinnery, spinnery basically. However, that costs 60 grand, so yeah, not too far off when we do our methane cells in the next episode for February and March. We should be looking good, but yep, we've created the dream farm. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for what you choose to do, hope you nice day. 
But for now, this will be from Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.